Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saif with another tutorial from tech for all In this tutorial, I will show you guys what is Hyper-V, how to enable Hyper-V in Windows 11, how to create different virtual switches, and how to create different virtual machines. Let's start. First of all, we should know that what is Hyper-V. Hyper-V is Microsoft's hardware virtualization product. It lets you create and run multiple software versions of a computer named virtual machines, where each virtual machine acts like a computer running an operating system and other programs. Hyper-V supports both UEFI and BIOS along with 32 and 64 bit of different operating systems. Now, let me show you how to enable Hyper-V in Windows 11. If you don't know how to enable it in Windows 10, I have already done a video on it. The link of the video is down below in the description. To enable Hyper-V, First of all, open control panel and from there, go to programs and features. On the right side of the screen, click on the turn windows feature on or off. From the windows feature, select Hyper-V and press OK. You need to reboot your computer to enable the Hyper-V. I will pause the video and will resume it after the reboot. Now that the computer is rebooted, let's head to the Hyper-V. Open the Start menu and type Hyper-V. Open the Hyper-V Manager. First, I will cover the Virtual Switch Manager and how to create switches. You can access the Virtual Switch Manager by clicking on this option on the left side of the screen. In the Virtual Switch Manager, you have three options to create a switch. The first one is an external switch. An external switch allows a virtual machine to access a physical network adapter. For example, if your computer has two NICs, you can create two external switch. Through one, you can access your local network connections, and through another, you can access the live connection or internet. The second one is internal switch. An internal switch is created to allow all the virtual machines to communicate with each other and also these virtual machines can access your physical computer. Basically, I can say that an internal switch allows your computer to talk to virtual machines and enable the virtual machines to communicate with each other too. The third option that you can create a switch is private switch. By creating a private switch, you will allow the virtual machines to only communicate with each other. They will not be allowed to access a physical network adapter on your computer or to communicate with your physical computer. First of all, I will create an external switch. Click the external and click on create virtual switch. You can name it. For example, I will give it a name live connection. You can type a node. From the connection type drop down, you can select that which adapter should be accessed by this switch. I will select my PCIe Gigabit internet adapter and click on the apply button. Here it says that creating an external switch might disrupt your network connectivity. That's okay. Click on yes button. Now let's create a new switch which will be an internal switch. Select the internal, click on the create virtual switch, give it a name. From the connection type, you have to choose internal network and click on apply button. Now let's create the third switch, which is private. Click on the create switch, give a name for it. From the connection type, choose private network, click on apply, and click on OK. Now let's create a virtual machine. To create a virtual machine, click on the new button and select new virtual machine. Click on the next button, and specify a name for the virtual machine. And where you want to store this virtual machine. I will store it 
in the drive C. I have already created a folder Hyper-V Virtual Machines and I will create a new folder by the name of Windows 10 where this virtual machine will be stored. Click on next button. Here you have two options whether you want to go with the first generation or the second generation. The first generation supports 32 and 64 but it only supports the BIOS or legacy mode. But if you select the second generation it supports UEFI and only 64-bit operating systems. I will go with the second one. Click on next. Here you can specify the amount of RAM that you want to be assigned for the virtual machine. For example, I will assign 8 GB of RAM for this virtual machine. From the drop down, you can select that this virtual machine can access which switch. We have already created three switch. I will go with the live connection because I want to activate the Windows later on, which needs internet connection. Click on next. Here you can assign the hard drive capacity. I will give it, for example, only 60 GB of my hard drive and it will create a virtual hard disk. If you have an existing virtual hard disk, select the second option, click on browse, select your virtual hard disk and then proceed. I will go with the first option and create a new virtual hard disk. Click on next. Here it asks you that how do you want to boot this operating system? Do you want to install an operating system now or later? I will go with the second option and I will select the Windows 10 ISO image. Then click on the next button. Here is a summary of your selection. After you have checked all of them, click on the finish button to create this virtual machine. Let's proceed to the installation now. Right click on the operating system, click on connect. Now click on start button to start the virtual machine installation. Let's expand the virtual machine. Okay guys, now that the operating system is installed, let's assign a new virtual switch for this operating system. To change the virtual switch, all you need to do is close down this virtual machine. Don't shut it down, let it be turned on. Click on the settings on the right side of the screen. Click on the network adapter. If you want to change the current network adapter, then you have an option to do it from here. For example, I don't want my computer to have connection to the live connection switch. I will select the virtual machine switch, which allows this operating system to connect to other virtual machines. I don't want it to access the internet. Click on OK, then click on Apply. You're done. If you want to add an extra network adapter, you can do it while the machine is turned on or off. No problem. Click on the Add Hardware button, select Network Adapter, Click on Add button and from the drop down select your desired switch. For example, I will go with the live connection this time. Click on Apply and click on OK. Now let's see that whether these two virtual switches are assigned to the operating system or not. Let's connect to the operating system.
Now let's open Network and Connections panel. Here you can see the two network adapters has been assigned to Windows 10. If you want to change the number of processors, the amount of RAM that's assigned to this virtual machine, first of all, you need to turn off this virtual machine. Then select the virtual machine and click on settings. From the virtual processor, you can assign the number of virtual processors that you want to be assigned. And to change the amount of RAM, you can do it from here. And that's all for today, guys. If you need any help, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you love the video. I will catch you very soon with another one. Till then, have a nice time.